Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft 365 Office Apps Security Baseline. What is the best way to secure Office 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. What is the easiest way to secure it using Intune? We are not going to talk about the group policies, etc. We are going to concentrate on Intune policies, how to secure Office apps using Intune the easiest method so don't skip it let's go ahead and check this out let's talk about microsoft 365 app security policies how we can secure microsoft 365 office applications the applications like excel powerpoint word outlook etc whether we would be able to use security baseline or not we will think about that we will discuss about that in this video so let's go to the next slide let's understand what is intune security policy policies from this slide. Intune security policies are here to secure your devices and applications and secure the organizational data, data leakage, etc, etc. So there are different ways to implement security policies. CIS is one of the most used benchmarks to implement the security policies in many organizations. If your organization is using CIS policies for office applications as well, then you need to download the CIS benchmark from their website and then you need to configure those policies. In that scenario, you won't be able to use Office 365 security baseline policy that Microsoft shared. So you can refer to the I button over here in YouTube to get more details about CIS benchmark policies, etc. In this video, we are going to look into the security baselines, Intune security baselines and the new security baseline which Microsoft released for Microsoft 365 apps enterprise security baseline this is the name of the security baseline that Microsoft released very recently with 2305 version of Intune there are other baseline policies also Microsoft Edge browser baseline and the security baseline for Windows 10 11 cloud PC baseline etc we have discussed about baseline in the previous video as well so you can refer Refer to that video if you want more details on the baselines such as Microsoft Edge browser baseline etc. The baselines are basically the customizable templates. Main advantage of baseline is you can implement it very quickly and it is Microsoft recommended security configuration settings. It is not CIS recommended. If your organization is following CIS benchmark, probably you need to take a different approach to get your Microsoft 365 or Office 365 application secured. Even though it is a customizable template, you will only have a set of settings that is already defined by Microsoft engineering team so you won't be able to add any additional policy settings to that particular template let's go to the next slide Office security baseline template is going to cover all these applications. Microsoft Access, Excel, Office, Office 2016, Outlook, PowerPoint. As you can see, the Teams is not here in this security baseline policies. Teams security policies, you need to implement it separately. It is not covered under this security baseline. We'll see more about this in the demo session. Reporting. Microsoft 365 apps reporting option specifically for baseline this particular baseline deployment it has standard intune reporting security baseline template reporting is migrated to the newest version of intune reporting infrastructure and you can see the latest reporting options available in this screenshot and we will see more details in the demo other reporting options related to Microsoft 365 apps is something similar to this Microsoft 365 app usage you can refer to that from Microsoft 365 admin center and then you can get more detailed inventory of office applications installed within your organization you can go to config.office.com and then check out the inventory over there you would be able to see which is the build number that you have and how many devices are there what does the channel details 
etc etc so do check out description of the video where i will provide all the links related to these reports etc don't forget to check that out okay let's go to the next slide intune security baselines for office apps or microsoft 365 apps are very easy to implement it is going to take you only 5 to 10 minutes to implement but there are some gochas if you are having a complex organization structure etc or if you are following cis benchmark etc normally what i have seen is these benchmarks are not regularly updated unlike settings catalog etc if you are segregating user based policies and device based policies using the settings catalog you don't have that kind of granularity option using security baseline for microsoft 365 apps in tune assignment filter support is already there for security baseline now let's go to demo and check that out now let's go to endpoint security in endpoint security you can see security baseline options so click on security baseline option and then you can see the latest option over here for microsoft 365 apps for enterprise security baseline this is released published on 25th of may that is the latest one so this is what we are going to check out click on that and then you can see we have already created two profiles with this baseline and both are assigned etc and if you want to create a new profile then you can do it with a different configuration click on create profile from here and then select the baseline it is already selected over here because it is only one baseline available at the moment and this is the first baseline released for office 365 or microsoft microsoft 365 apps click on create button over here and then enter a name and description remember to provide appropriate name and description so that fellow admins can understand it easily and click on next platform is already selected this is the main settings page where you can configure different policies for different applications within microsoft 365 you can see access excel link i don't know how many of you use link office office machine based outlook powerpoint project publisher oh, publisher is still there visio and then word etc let's go go through some of the settings over here you can see uh, there are different types of policies like disable macro and you have a drop down option to disable it or enable it and if you want to know more about this particular policy what you can do is you need to go into this particular i icon and hover your mouse over this i icon and that will provide you more detail as you can see over here this is applicable for all the policies listed over here let's look into some of the excel related policies you can see do not show data extraction options when opening corrupt workbooks and these are user policies i talked about mixing user and device policies all these are user policies you can see over here vba macro notification settings that is also a user policy a lot of policies are here for excel application and then excel options related security policies are available here so all these policies are coming directly from microsoft engineering team and they recommend this value that is the default value available with this security baseline policy but for your organization if you want to change some of this policy to disable for example always open untrusted database files in protected view i want to disable this feature for example then i can disable it i have that option to customize my configuration profiles but using this security template i have changed two settings now and i'm going to go to word now word and i'm going to change require application that add in signed by trusted publisher so i'm going to change this to disable and then i'm going to deploy this policy by just clicking on next button over here i can i can provide you the latest information on these policies via description of this video so if you can check out the description of the video you will get the latest information on this policy click on next to continue over here and then if you want you can provide the scope tags otherwise you can skip it but if you want to know more about scope tags refer to i icon over here in youtube click on next and then this is assignment part either you can add this policy to all the devices and then use filter to filter out the policies otherwise you can use a specific custom azure active directory device group or user group to 
deploy this policy. It's interesting to see that there's a filter option for security baseline policies as well. And then once you assign a particular Azure AD group, then you can click on next and that will bring you to review page. This is the review page where you can review and confirm your configurations for all of these applications. And then you can start creating the policy by clicking on create button over here. Okay, the policy is being created and you can see the policy is here. And let's check one of the other policy which we have already created. Let's click on this one and check what is happening over here in the reports. So in the reports, you can see it is succeeded and this is the newest report. The reporting is also changed now. Click on reports and under the reports, you would be able to see the device name, system account, success and modification, etc. I'm going to click on this. If you click on device hyperlink, you will get all the policies which are deployed. Over here, you can see one of the policy is succeeded. That is add on management. Okay, as you can see over here that is succeeded most of the policies are not configured but some of the policies you can see block flash activation office documents all these are succeeded all these policy settings are succeeded so that is a good news you can see disable http fallback for zip connection information bar all those kind of policies are already deployed successfully on the device you can go to the device and check out the event logs and registry keys to confirm whether all these are all already applied or not and even you can launch the word or excel application to find out whether the policies are applied or not I'm going to link into troubleshooting video over here if you click on i button in youtube you would be able to see that in the drop down list of videos let's quickly look into report scenario the other reports which we talked about this is admin.microsoft.com portal and if you go to reports over here you can see some of the interesting reports over here office 365 reports are here under that you can see several reports over there microsoft 365 apps usage active users groups activity multi geo distribution activation reports etc and then there's an inventory report as you can see over here that is basically config.office.com and if you go over there you can see what are the office 365 app versions which we have now that you have seen all the details about Microsoft 365 Office apps, security settings, and what are the settings you need to deploy to Windows devices, managed Windows devices, what is the settings recommendation from Microsoft, and how you can easily implement it. All these things we have learned from this video. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around. <laughs>